Hey, Sahar. So let's look at the question here. It says education is not a luxury, but a basic human right. And as such, should be free for everyone in respect of a personal will. Do you agree? Okay. Looks like a simple question where you don't have, uh, you're not being asked to discuss both sides. You're not being asked uh, advantages, disadvantages. You're not asked two separate questions in any other format as well. It's simply asking your opinion. Do you agree or disagree? So all you got to do is say your opinion in the intro, rephrase it in the conclusion, mention one point regarding that opinion in body one, and another point regarding that opinion in body two. So you would have two points, one in each body, defending your opinion, and you should not go on the other side. That would be a mistake. So let's look at this answer here. It says education has been a topic of hot debate. Some people believe that equality education should not continue as a practice because of many. All right. When we say something should not continue as a practice, it means that um, it should be an action. An action, you can say, should not continue as a practice, right? Like animal killing should not continue as a practice or terrorism should not continue as a practice. But what you are saying is that quality education should not continue as a practice, which is not a verb. So you cannot say should not continue as a practice. Maybe you can say um, teaching equality education should not continue as a practice. That would be better. Now, my next problem is what does equality education mean? See, whenever you define something like education and you have to put a word before that education or anything else, you have to make sure you're using an adjective. Adjective is something that defines the word a little better. For example, you can say uh, good education, bad education. So good or bad are adjectives. They define the word education. Equality is not an adjective. How you know it is, well, you have to memorize those adjectives whenever you see them in English language, whenever I point out, or you can simply Google a list of adjectives to see what matches with education. And sometimes it's just a gut feeling. I mean, I'm sure you haven't heard equality education anywhere. So that's a way to find out that it's not possibly the right thing to say. So you would say some people believe that teaching equal levels of education should not continue as a practice. That's how you would define it. I was thinking to say teaching equal education, but again, it's just better to elaborate that a little bit because equal is, you know, it can be considered an adjective, like equal amount of money. So now here equal defines the amount. So equal is a quality, but mostly equal is used as a noun, which is a different concept. But what you should know is um, if you are defining this, you can see equal levels of education. It's a nicer way to say uh, equal education. And uh, that's how we should put our first sentence in. What I do like about this is you have said because of any social and economic reasons. That is good because it's not a boring opposing sentence. It's saying something like why do some people think that's way because of these and these reasons. That's good. Nonetheless, you're missing the N in none, N-O-N-E. Nonetheless. In my opinion, it is completely justified because of many economic and ethical reasons. What is the difference between economy and economic? Economic is the adjective. The same concept I was explaining to you earlier. And you're going to use the word economic <clears throat> because you're going to use it to explain the kind of reasons there are. So economic reasons. And I think you're getting the spelling a little wrong there. It is E-C-O-N-O-M why if it's economy with economic it's going to be mic so economic is again going to define the reasons so you have to use economic if you say economy that cannot define the word reasons i can just say i live in a good economy or a bad economy and that's it that finishes the idea doesn't continue it so you got to say because of many economic reasons um, okay, 
this is good. Now that you are getting good with my structure, I'll tell you that in, in the opposing sentence and in the opinion sentence, it's not advisable to use just economic, social, and, and those words. One sentence with, the, with them is good. The opposing sentence you have said, it is so many words that many social and economic reasons. Great. Now here, you have to maybe explain those reasons with the opinion. So maybe you can say the benefits, sorry, uh, nonetheless, in my opinion, it is completely justified because of many, um, many benefits to the society and the individual. You know, you got to elaborate on your points here. And I'm assuming that what I said here is going to be my body one and body two. Of course, yours might be different. But whatever I say in my body one and body two, I want to kind of rephrase it briefly in my opinion sentence. I didn't tell you this before because I wanted you to practice the social and economic stuff. Now that you know it, this is the next lesson. Okay, body two. Generally, uh, oh, by the way, reasons in the in, uh, intro, R-E-A-S-O-N-S, spelling mistake. Generally as well as a spelling mistake, G-E-N-E-R-A-L-L-Y. Um, you have said here body too. Why you, why you feel the need to say it is because if you didn't say it, I wouldn't know that it's body too. So two things you can do. Either leave another line, like leave two lines and then start your body too. Or just give a little indent, like a left space before you start the paragraph. Generally, the benefits, there's no need for T to be capital because it is a, se a sentence. It's not starting a new sentence. Generally, the benefits of education are clearly visible. One clear reason comes from the fact, again, the T is capital, no need for it. In fact, the T in, in many other places, it looks capital right now. Yeah, yeah, if you see this, that's, um, that's a lot of T is capital. No need for it to be capital. If you don't know how to make it a small T, please let me know. I'll, I'll draw a picture and show it to you. On our, in our next class. Uh, one clear reason. Now, the, see, one clear reason, the O does not look capital, okay? And the clear, the C and L, they look very close together. It might seem like one dear reason, okay? So make it a little separate. Comes from the fact that all people as human should get their rights to study and be educated. Educated doesn't have I in it, uh, but... One thing is that when you're saying that all people as humans, people are humans. You don't need to say as humans. Okay, if you're defining a type of person, for example, all people as, as Asian people need to do this, or all people as, as a strong people need to do this. So you're defining that type of person. Right now, there's no need to say as humans because all people are humans. Okay. Okay, next sentence, they help their society to development. Um, okay, they help their society to develop. Okay, when I say they help, some, somebody helps somebody too. I am expecting a verb. I'm expecting an action. I help you to study. You help me to uh, get some hours of teaching. I help you to take the trash out, for example. So, Every time I'm saying I help you too, you help me too, there is a verb. You need a verb here that looks much better. Development is a noun. So you want to say they help their society to develop. That's it. For example, you can find, never say you, I, me, my, in body. Only in the intro and conclusion it's okay to do so, but never in the body. So just say, for example, uh, we can find or humans can find that in these countries, in, in these countries, because you are saying multiple countries, so you will say these, not this. This is used for something singular. These is used for plural. And the spelling of these is T-H-E-S-E. -E. The spelling of countries is C-O-U-N-T-R-I-E-S. The economy and technology, and the technology is high. If, if you are drunk, then you can say I'm high. You know, people are high like that. Or, or let's say buildings are high or um, my aims are high. 
there's certain things that look okay with that word but not this you can say here the in these countries the economy and the technology is top notch it's a good word to use top hyphen n o t c h okay so that is your example okay therefore if analyzed properly this is no argument of the education is very important uh well you are going away from my format there my template says there is no argument so again therefore if analyzed properly there is no argument to the fact that that's what my template says and then you can say that education is very important okay let's review what we did here uh, first of all, your intro is perfect. You got your general sentence, opinion, opposing sentence, and your opinion. Beautiful. That's just how I want it. Uh, your body one, I feel there are problems. Let's check it out. First of all, you're saying generally the benefits of education are clearly visible. One clear reason comes from the fact that all human beings should get their rights to study and be educated. Okay, now I want to see the question, if the question is asking the same thing question is saying it's not a luxury but a basic right and it should be free for everybody okay now if i'm thinking as education should be uh free then i'm gonna um, oh yeah that must be a problem in the intro as well because see the the topic is education should not be a luxury like it should not be something that only the family of the queen gets or political people get or rich people get education should be for everybody doesn't matter how rich or poor they are so let's say an example is a poor person should not be deprived of education maybe the government should fund the education that is the topic how you would know that is the topic is see one thing is education is not a luxury but a basic human right you stop there and think it's luxury versus a right and then other stuff is just uh, and it should be free whatever that's just an opinion Okay, so your argument in the intro should be general sentence. Then you would say some people believe that not equal education. Um, well, yeah, maybe you can say equal education because then, you know, luxurious people and poor people both can get equal education. So, okay, that's fine. Some people think sentence is fine. Then, nonetheless, in my opinion, it is completely justified because of many these and these reasons. Uh, okay, now here is the um, issue. When you say some people believe that equal levels of education should not be a practice, and then you say, nonetheless, in my opinion, it is okay. So you're basically saying that I agree that equal levels of education should not continue as a practice, which sounds very wrong. So instead of saying, in my opinion, it is completely justified, maybe you can say, in my opinion, equal levels of education are completely justified. Okay, so we know that by, by your opinion, when you say something is completely justified, what is that thing? Okay, so that is one confusion in the intro. Then anyway here in body one you should be defending why we should have equal education why we should have free education and you can explain the logic you can say well because um we we all have the right to be successful and we all have the right to have a degree and then compete in the job market without um without family background or or let's say financial income every child that is born needs to have the same um upbringing and competition because it's a basic human right something like that something about you know it's unfair for a person who is born in a poor home to uh be deprived of something that that a rich father can afford for their children in some other place that could be a good example so that's what i'm looking for in body one what you have done is you have explain the benefit of you've said that in the start in the in the topic sentence of body one that there are benefits of education okay then you're saying reason is that humans should get the uh, education because it's their right and uh, they help the, their society to develop and uh, you can find that in these countries the economy is where, where there uh, where there is education you can find economy and technology Therefore, education is very important. 
Okay. I like the um, example and, and the thing before that. You, you're basically trying to say that if you have education, people can help other people and that economy of that certain country of educated people can be really good. So that is a good thing about education and that's why we should promote it to poor and rich alike. That's, that last part that I just said, that's what's missing in your body. You should focus on that part that in uh, especially we should use this tool to provide education equally to everybody so that the poor can get it, the rich can get it, and everybody in the country can proceed and progress. Okay, so the topic sentence of this one should touch on that. It should say that education generally should be provided to everybody in the country in order to bring multiple benefits to the entire nation. Then, in the elaboration, you explain the why and how. You say, if a country and the people there are more educated, they would be serving in more industries, finding more businesses, making more jobs, and this way, the economy of a country can be developed up to great extents. Then you can say, for example, if a person in a poor place is... Um, uh, well, actually, uh, let's not do that example. I'm going to take your point and do that example. I'm going to say that, for example, it's proven all over the world when we see the most educated countries, they are the developed countries and they're the first world countries because of how much they're, or how, because of the discipline they have, the organization they have, and the industries they have, which is all a result of educated people. You can say in poorer countries, people don't do that. People don't have those facilities because they don't have the education to reach that level. Something like that in the example. And then your conclusion finishes up by reminding the examiner why we wrote this. So the examiner, to, to remind him, will say, as you said here, therefore, if analyzed properly, there is no argument to the fact that... Uh, giving education to everybody free of cost or without it's uh, it being considered a luxury education or oh, sorry, oh, sorry economic levels and uh, productivity of a country can increase to great extents period that will justify why we should provide education to everybody which is our topic our topic is not just talking about the benefits of education okay that's body one uh, let's see body two. On the other hand, it is argued that education should be free for everyone. Uh, it's uh, completely fair. Uh, for everyone, it's completely fair. Hmm. Um, there's two things here. One thing is that it should be free for everybody. The other thing is it's completely fair. So we got to pick one. Say one thing, that it should be free for everyone. Period. Or use a semicolon and say it's completely fair, okay? Use a semicolon here and say it's completely fair. Why? Because you are doing an additional point and it's kind of related to the previous point, so not a bad idea to do that semicolon thing. But uh, you don't need to say it's completely fair because it will sound like your opinion and your opinion is done in the intro, it will be done again in the conclusion, but not needed here. So ignore that. The one of, of important government duties okay you have to say it like this one of the important government's duties that's how it starts one of the important blah 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 duties is that they have to give all their citizens so when you whenever you explain something like it their duty is to their job is to their responsibility is to you say duty is that Okay, you're explaining that, so you would say is. So duty is that they have to give all their citizens opportunities. Again, task to generalize everything, keep everything plural. Now, look at you, you're saying otherwise, which is a connecting word. When you do a connecting word, you do a semicolon before the connecting word and a comma after the connecting word. So to give all their citizens opportunities, semicolon, otherwise, comma this can be make problem of class differences in the society this can make problems of class differences in the society so this can make problem never no need to say this can be make 
if something is making something it can make that problem no need to say be make for example then you're saying uh, for example which is another connecting word so you need to do a comma here now for example comma in the 18th century your 18 looks weird so make it a little clear uh, and when you do th 18th then the th needs to be a little thing on top of 18 it's a it's like a small symbol it's not not like a, not like two letters uh, if you don't know them i can explain to you next time for example in the in the 18th century in many countries only rich families um families their children have chance or permission to study and that shows <clears throat> oh sorry that shows um uh let me see only rich people have their children have chance or permission to study and that shows very less percentage become educated and majority are illiterate huh okay well it's hard to understand what you're trying to say here for example in the 18th century uh, now you need to put a, a comma because every time you give a time for example in the 18th century two hours ago five days later uh, after tomorrow whenever you give a time you have to do a comma so for example comma in the 18th century comma in many countries only rich families just make it plural not one family right only rich families their children have chances or permissions to study just make everything plural again and it's the children of rich families right the children belong to the rich families so you want to say the children of rich families had in the past had chances or permissions to study and that shows very less percentage percentage of what percentage of children became educated in the past became educated is the quality you are either educated or not educated okay and majority were illiterate in the past were illiterate percentage spelling is p-e-r-c-e-n-t-a-g-e -E -E. so sahar i think you kind of rushed this one because there are a lot of mistakes in this last uh, sentence and uh, there is no conclusion after this there should be a conclusion that rephrases the intro there is none um and this last one has a lot of mistakes and i know you don't do it like that usually so i would uh, i would uh, i would i would believe that there must be some Maybe, you know, he had to go, go somewhere or run into some problem. But um, the, uh, the, uh, the grammar here is not very good in the end. Let's see the body, though. On the other hand, it is argued that they, it should be free for everybody. It's completely fair. Um, it's one of the government's duties to give everybody equal opportunity. Otherwise, there will be class differences. For example, in the past, we saw this. Okay, so everything is good here. I think um, the, the thing you're explaining here, of course, is that we shouldn't have the class differences. And uh, that should be a little more clear in your topic sentence. If I see your topic sentence, I don't think that you're going to talk about class differences. But that's what you're talking about. So mention in the topic sentence of the body what you need to talk about. So you're going to say in the topic sentence... Um, <clears throat> It is argued that education should be free uh, for everybody to avoid the class differences. Then you explain how, just like you did. And then in your example, don't go in the past. We're talking about the present or the future. So you give a condition. You say, well, for example, in, uh, in countries where education is not provided for free, the poor families remain poor always and the rich families always remain rich because of that educational difference and because of that there are robberies there is jealousy between the rich and the poor and uh, the class differences cause a problem that's what you want to say there and then you need a concluding sentence for the body that says therefore it is obvious that <clears throat> With lack of education, the problem of class differences arises, which results in many more problems. That is 
the finish of the body, which is missing. So, well, of course, you missed the finish of the body. You uh, didn't do the conclusion. Some mistakes here and there. Uh, body 1 had mistakes. Body 2 had mistakes, as I mentioned. So, this kind of writing <clears throat> would not go far, unfortunately. I, I don't think this is your best effort. I think you can do a lot more. But uh, that's where we are right now. So, if I give you the mark for <clears throat> answering the question to the point, not really going there because of the mistakes in body one and body two and again because the topic sentence of each body which is the first sentence of each body is different from the rest of the body it doesn't feel like you have consistency so you lose marks for consistency as well then grammar mistakes you lose marks for that and um, then the last one is vocabulary vocabulary is okay you have used some of my words so it's not bad actually uh, it could be better, but it's okay for now. Based on all that, this would score 5.5. Uh, without a conclusion, it's impossible for it to score 6. But that's where we are. I think you, you didn't do your best, and I would like to discuss this with you in the class to see what happened. Uh, but that's where we are right now, 5.5.